Good morning, Newman Smith. I'm Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where our mission is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready without remediation. Let's start with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now our pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for our moment of silence. Thank you and welcome to Newsday with Dr. J where we build culture and community right here at Newman Smith High School. Today is a very important day on our campus because the class of 2028 has selected Newman Smith High School to be their high school home for the next four years and we are welcoming them into our building today. Don't forget we're running a special schedule and many of our scholars are going to be participating in the activities to win this class of 2028 over to make sure that they are here the first day of school to begin their four-year journey as a Trojan. Our SAT word of the day is transparent. It means see-through, so thin that light can shine through. Stained window glass isn't as transparent as regular window glass is. Our quote of the day, and I want you to notice what's on the quote is a baseball. There's your tip for what's coming. But there may be people that have more talent than you, but there is no excuse for anyone to work harder than you do. And that is from Derek Jeter, who was a Yankee. All right, I want to tell you, when I coached here, I told my scholars all the time, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Those are facts. Freshmen won back-to-back, -back, bringing it in. Look at those freshmen, 92.3. Great job, class of 2027. Everyone else, pick up the pace. Come to school. Goal is 96%. All right, let's bring Miss Jane over. We have another prom ticket winner today. And let's spin the wheel. So, Miss Jane, what, are they win what did they win for? So they are winning because they've completed their Dallas County Promise, their financial aid, and their college application. And so we decided, you know what, let's get one more winner for this, um, for the prom giveaway. So that uh, listen, is what this is for. Listen, I love free money. All right, so this is, a, this is valued at a lot of dollars. Okay, here we go. Let's spin right, the let's wheel. Let's do this. There we go. Oh, you can't hear it, but it makes a little noise. That's great. <laughs> And our winner is Natalie Flores. Way to go, Natalie! Woo! Woo! So see Miss Pace to pick up your free ticket. And Miss Jane, we appreciate you so much getting these seniors to college. You just have no idea. Thank you. We love it. All right, back on the news day. Up next, you got the hint on our quote page. But let me tell you, these guys are making things happen in Trojan baseball. They look amazing, and I want you to hear from them. But that right there is the beautiful Kelly Field. Come on over, Trojan Baseball. Tell us what is happening on the diamond. Um, well, we got games. We got a game today over at Frisco Lone Star, and then tomorrow, or not tomorrow, next week we play R.L. Turner on Tuesday and Friday, home game Tuesday, uh, away game Friday, and then next week after that we play Creeview. With, uh, we play a home or an away game on Tuesday. And a home game on Friday. We just want to see as many people come out as possible. Absolutely, and support. support. Now, you guys have done a lot to kind of change your play this year. What What have been some of the adjustments that you've made? Um, I would say it's definitely being more relaxed, uh, being able to be confident and comfortable in the box, and just coming out there knowing, uh, you know, we have a chance to win. And, uh, you know, with our new head coach, Coach Barge, um, it's just he's brought a lot of energy to the team. Uh, really change up the dynamic and just uh, give us a shot to win. So. Oh, I love it! I love it. What are some What are some ways that baseball is akin to life? Like, what are some baseball lessons that would help all of the scholars on the campus? Baseball applies to everything in life. You know, whether it's your attitude going into the game and how. In baseball, everything is not going to go perfect. You know, baseball is not a perfect game. You can't play a perfect game. 
and in life you can just apply that like right to it. The other bad things are gonna happen, but you know, you just gotta say so what, go to the next play, and just in life, you know, you use that like every day. Yeah. And there is a chance that a baseball game could last forever. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> mathematically, that is possible. Well, I just want to say how proud we are of you all as our as the baseball team and the work that you have done this year, how impressive you have been on the field of play. We are super proud of that. And I also want to make sure if there are any scholars out there who, who are interested in baseball, what should they do? Uh, they can come to either Coach Farley's room, which is upstairs. I don't know. I don't know the room number off the top of my head. But it's, uh, it's upstairs in the main hallway. And then Coach Barge's room as well is upstairs in the English like uh, further down where there's science and then it splits into English. Yeah. Uh, he's over there at the first door in the English hallway. Trojan, just go upstairs, ask for Barge or Far Farley. Yes, ma'am. And if you run into Wilkett, you could probably ask yeah. for yeah. him. <laughs> All right, will y'all help me close? We'll bring Miss Jane back. Yes, uh, bring Coach Barge over here. Get him in Get him in the shot. We're so proud of you guys. Just so Thank impressed. You. And listen, for Turner and Creepy, y'all show up, let's show out. We love you. We think you're great. Remember, character counts. And make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.